Hi all, in this video, I'm going to discuss about another one of the most important interview question for any Salesforce testing role. That is, what is a bucket field on Salesforce and where it is used and why it is actually used. Okay, let's start. So guys, basically, bucket field is mainly used on reports. Okay, on reports on Salesforce. Okay, so why it is used so that we can categorize the reports in a better way. We can actually categorize the reports without creating a custom formula, but creating a bucket field on reports. Okay, now let's see practically how we can do that. Okay, so just click on your app launcher, navigate to the sales console. So you can see one of the tab as reports, right? So just click on reports tab and just click on new report button over here. Now, while creating any report initially, it will ask us to select a report type, means what, which kind of a report you want to actually create, means whether it's an account report or opportunity report or a leads report. So the type of report which you want to create. So display all the standard and custom objects available in our org so that we can select which object report type we want to create, okay? So here I would like to select users, okay? Users and just click on start report. Yeah, so you can see here, right? So these are all the users available and uh, currently it's displaying me a standard tabular form of report. Okay, now for this report, I would like to categorize it, okay? Customize it using a bucket field, okay? How we can do that? Here you can see here, right? We have something called as columns. So just click on this arrow, click on add bucket column, okay? Yeah, now here, uh, how you want to categorize your report, okay? Just you can add your bucket name. For example, I would like to categorize based on the profile, okay? So profile, maybe I can add like Salesforce admin profile. Or maybe here, mostly we have post.com profiles, right? So I will categorize based on the profile like post.com profile okay this is my bucket name okay and just click on add bucket over here and the bucket name would be force profile category category okay so So now we created one bucket uh, field, which is force profile category. So to this bucket field, we would like to add our values. So we created a bucket field over here, force profile category. Now I would like to add values into this. Okay, so these are all the ones which are available. So maybe like uh, I can add just Ted, Nova, Eric, okay, select these values and move to force profile category. Okay, so that's it, guys. If you want, you can add like other bucket uh, category also, or you can just mention like bucket remaining values as other. Okay, you can just click this. If you want, you can enter other values as well. Okay, and simply click on apply. So it's asking me to just refresh. So I'm clicking it on refresh. You can see here, right? So one category of column has been created, which is nothing but the bucket field. You can see the icon also, right? Force.com profile. So see, force profile category. So we added few of the values to force profile category and remaining have been categorized as other. Okay. So if you want, what you can do, just drag this towards the first also. Okay. Click on refresh to the first actually so you can see here right see first category is the bucket field which we added just now and see so uh, all of our report values user report values have been categorized based on the force profile category or the other so that's it guys in this way you can customize your report you can categorize your report based on your requirement by simply creating a new column which is nothing but a bucket column so that you can categorize the report values accordingly okay 
I hope you guys found this video really helpful because this is one of the most important interview question asked in each and every Salesforce interview. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.